Hey there friends, thanks for checking in at the range now and today we're looking at a new handgun that I picked up just recently. I picked it up used and it's a Breda PX4 Storm Type D. Now the Type D means double action only. It's got a long double action trigger pull and a full reset. Breda discontinued these. I think it's been a while. There are many variants with the PX4 Storm line. This one they discontinued. They also discontinued the Type C, but it's a double action only. Now I have to say, <laughs> I'm kind of digging it. I wasn't sure if I would. I picked it up used and when I went to pick it up, I expected a double single action PX4 Storm. And the guy said, well, this is double action only. And after I checked it out, you know, you can see it does have some wear on there. A couple scratches. It's certainly a used gun. But after I checked it out, I said, I think I like that. I'm going to take it. I paid three and a quarter. So I think I got a pretty good deal. Came with two 17 round magazines, 9mm, 4 inch barrel. And the PX4 Storm is known for a rotating barrel. But I've been taking a few shots and I have to say, I like it. It's, it's got a nice smooth pull. It does have an accessory rail on there. And it's all PX4 Storm with the exception of a Type D, double action only. So you're not going to get those quick shots. Double taps are a bit of a struggle. If I had to guess, I'd say a eight, eight and a half pound trigger pull. It actually feels lighter than a double action revolver. But here we are about 10, 11 yards away. Let's see how I do with this PX4 Storm Type D. And there we go. That was about 12 rounds. And I already mentioned 17 round mags does come with two. The three dot sights are luminescent. So that's kind of cool. And it does have front serrations there. And the spring weight is rather light. So I'm, I'm kind of digging it. I have to say, I, I, at first I was disappointed, but I figured for three and a quarter, I couldn't go wrong. Much like the PX4 line. Okay, polymer frame. There's the hammer. And then it has this locking block here and a single polymer recoil uh, spring and guide rod. So it's, uh, it's, it's pretty cool. I'm actually, I, I turned this whole thing into disappointment to kind of exciting because I think the PX4 Storm line is, is a quality handgun. And so many people have told me that they think that the PX4 Storm is one of their favorite shooting handguns throughout the years. I've heard that consistently. So I'm gonna load it up, we'll fire it some more, and, and you guys can let me know your thoughts of the PX4, PX4 Storm Type D double action only. All right, backed up to 15 yards. I'm running Wolf steel case, 115 grade nine millimeter. Not exactly sure how this is gonna go, but let's check it out. I was holding the sight a little low. Not bad. 325, I think I made a pretty good purchase with the PX4 Storm. Here I've got trees a-blowing. He shot the Beretta PX4 Storm as well. He said he really likes it. What do you like about this handgun? I just think it's a soft shooting nine millimeter. I mean, I actually like it better than my 92 FS, honestly. That says a lot. Yeah, that's that you like a it lot. better than, so you willing to trade? Maybe. <laughs> All right, we may have a little business deal going here. All right, backed up to 20 yards, sticking with the uh, Wolf steel case. Let's start with the target on the right. There we go. Come on. Ah, I nicked, I nicked that last one. So far, I have to say, <laughs> I'm, I'm very much impressed with it. I'm, I'm kind of surprised, um, maybe a little bit, because once I saw that it was discontinued and I figured, you know, it wasn't a highly attractive firearm, but I knew I had to get it to the range 
I was a little disappointed at first, but now I'm, I'm actually quite a bit happy. It has some mileage on it. You can see the, the barrel has been uh, shot quite a few times, at least from that perspective. I don't even know if you can see that. It's got some scratches along the slide. Frame looks to be in good condition, but did come with two 17 round magazines and the sights seem very much on target. So the one thing this review is missing is a limperous test. So let's go ahead and load it up and we'll do that. Let's see if the PX4 Storm will chamber itself by slamming the mag home. And it sure does. Limperous. It's working with ease. PX4 Storm, used probably thousands of rounds through it, and it passed the Lipris test. All right, one-handed. Let's see how I do. Not bad. So there it is. My new used Beretta PX4 Storm Type D. Very few reviews on the Type D models, but I'm pretty happy with it. I put quite a few rounds through it already, and it's performed 100%. And so I'm pretty happy with my new purchase. Let me know what you think. If you like videos like this, please subscribe and share. I always appreciate thumbs up button. Thanks for watching. And you guys be safe.